Hi, I told you that my dad sent me some money recently and I bought a few products from Selfridges with that uh, money. I mean, I've already shown you the Valentino lipsticks. The other product that I bought with the money, because my mom had insisted that I buy myself something fun and completely unnecessary instead of saving it for a rainy day. Anyway, the other product that I bought was the Christian Louboutin palette. I was it going to... I, I haven't bought any Christian Louboutin lipsticks. I think the way too overpriced. I mean, I know it's Louboutin and everything, but you get amazing quality lipsticks from so many other brands out there that, you know, I've never felt like, and the packaging is a bit like butt plugs. I've never felt like buying a Louboutin lipstick. When the palette turned out though, A, the colors spoke to me, B, I had the money to blow. See, the palette itself, the eyeshadows themselves, six colors you get, 58 quid, that didn't sound so bad, so I bought it. And then I'll tell you what happened, yeah? Um, first, I bought the palette itself. That came in a package like this. Hang on, I'll open that and show you what that's like. So you get three, these come in three shade variants. Rouge Folly, Rose Pigai, and Bronze Eloise. I picked Rose Pigai because rosy shades. Yeah, that is what you get inside. Yeah, this is, this thing is, so it's very cheap plastic and you open that hang on, and you get the palette itself. Now you cannot store it like this at all. This is something that I realized a little later. 58 quid, I thought, oh my God, uh, Geo quads cost more. So why am I not buying this? I thought and I bought the Louboutin palette. It turned up and A, it's more. B, 58 quid for this. In order to store this, you have to splurge another 58 quid and then you get this really fancy case and then you get this which is hang on, a gorgeous studded i mean this speaks to me it's lovely the side is red the louboutin red and this side is beautifully studded yeah a studded case this thing costs 58 quid i'm fine with paying more for a case 20 quid. I'll tell you why. It's made in China, this thing. It's made in China. This is not made in China. This is made in Italy. 58 pounds eyeshadow palette made in Italy. Louboutin. Fine. Very reasonable. The case for the palette made in China. Plastic. I mean, it's not as if this thing is made out of gold or something you know or diamonds yeah it's made in china 20 quid would have been better it's not anything to do with the pandemic that oh you know china or such i'm saying obviously this is mass produced cheap manufacturing that you have used in china so why are you charging me 58 quid agree it's your brand name but then you know i'm happy to pay that amount for those eyeshadows that are made in italy because that is obviously labor is a lot more expensive in Italy than it is in China. And uh, yeah, those are eyeshadows themselves. This is plastic tart. Why are you charging me 58 quid for this? That is my question. And you get this kind of peculiar device inside that you use to depot the palette from the case. Now I'm going to put it inside the case and then show it to you. Right, so you open the case like so and you get a mirror and with love from Christian. Yeah, that's all very well, but Christian, either put the palette inside the case and charge bloody 115 quid, which is the total cost, 115 quid Louboutin palette, or charge, I don't know, a proper price for this plastic kit. That is my problem, because when I bought the palette, I thought, you know, it would have one of those cheaper cheap plastic cases but not something like that hang on i'll remove the palette so i can show you the packaging in which the eyeshadows turn up so that is about you can't store this you genuinely can't store this you need the case that's a problem it's not magnetic you can't pop it into a magnetic palette i've tried believe me it was the first thing i did right so you pop it in there that's all very well close it see this thing it's one of those you know Yeah, that won't work as a storage solution. You have to buy this case, whether you want to or not. 
So I was, you know, patting myself on the back. Lugo and Tower Palette, 58 quid, not bad at all. Dior Squads cost more. Nice. And then, you know, I realized that you can't store this bike. So I thought it would come in, you know, the Viseart kind of packaging. Uh, the old Viseart kind of packaging, you know, where you had a glass, transparent, gla not glass. You had a transparent plastic cover. A slip case would have done it for me. But, you know, this kind of packaging you can't store. You need to buy the case. Case is 58 quid. I knew it was a refill. I'm not an idiot. It did say refill. But I thought, you know, when you have a lipstick refill, it comes from the kind of plastic. The Valentino lipsticks. Uh, two of the colors I wanted were sold out to the full size. So I bought two of them in refills because I wanted those colors very badly. Uh, you can store them by themselves. They come with this plastic cap. It's not fancy. It's not gold or anything. But yeah, a functional utilitarian red plastic cap that protects the lipstick from exposure. I thought the same thing. That would be the case with the palette as well. No, you can't store the palette refill by itself at all. Not even as a single. You might as well have sent out single eye shadows. And I could have popped them into my magnetic palette. Yeah, the, this as a standalone refill, you cannot buy it. You will have to fork out. 115 quid including the bloody case now the problem here is that the eyeshadows yeah which are made in italy excellent quality great pigmentation they cost 58 quid fine they're eyeshadows there are by terry costs more than that um dio costs more than that lots and lots of brands cost way more than that valentino's recent palette costs 82 quid 82 quid so yeah for 58, you're charging me 58 quid for your eyeshadows that are made in Italy and are brilliant. Fine. The case that is made in China and out of plastic, costing the exact same thing, the same amount, takes away from the eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? A plastic case made in China, irrespective of brand, should not cost as much as high quality eyeshadows that are made in Italy. That's my point. What? Whatever happens, it should cost less than the eyeshadows. Because the eyeshadows are over there. Why is the case over there? The case is not over The case should be somewhere over here. Half price. Now, the colours themselves. Hang on. That is Rose Big Eye. Hang on. Yeah, I'll come close to the camera. Don't worry. And there is an embossed pattern on three of the eyeshadows. That those are a bit creamy cream to powder in finish and I get about four eye makeup looks out of this proper smoky one a very neutral look a rosy look and a nice you know ungenial bright pink look now I'm not doing the very smoky look today on camera I am going to do two looks for you uh you know what let's get on with those first now the first look I'm going to use just the two eyeshadows I'm going to use a deeper a crease shade and you know that nice deep rosy shade all over that's it The next is a very neutral look that I'm going to be doing and you know that's with 
this beautiful bronzy eyeshadow here. And just want to smoke it up. Well, that is terrible pigmentation. I thought I didn't take much product. Right, and now for all over the lips, let's go with that coppery shade, yeah? One of the things I love is that despite this pigmentation issue, there has been no fallout here. I will come close to the camera once I go do my eyeliner and mascara and so on, yeah? Now I'm going to do swatches before anything else. The shades don't have names. That is Nars Orgasm in eyeshadow form. Let me go grab a tissue. Now, pigmentation is insane. Insane. You, I, I took the normal quantity of eyeshadow on my brush and was quite shocked by the quantity in there, the pigmentation. This is Lorac level pigmentation, people. I'm talking about the first Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2, that level of pigmentation. Oh dear, money has a space. I think the shades are gorgeous and right up my alley and the pigmentation is insane and I love that I can use every single eyeshadow from in here. This one is a bit in a corner-ish. All of the rest nice rich colours that will look good on my skin tone, that do look good on my skin tone. With these I can get about four eye makeup looks. Nice, neutral, wearable and you can also have a very smoky look with it. Uh, formula, very very careful because if you take a normal amount of eyeshadow, your usual amount on your brush, you end up getting way too much. So very, very light hand required. This is Lorac Pro and Lorac Pro 2 level pigmentation people. Insane. Very blendable, nice formula, uh, beautifully, you know, easy to sort of, I mean, it transitions nicely. It doesn't leave any harsh edges. All that is very well. No creasing, no fading, stays all day. I do apply cut grease canvas from Revolution on. I mean, it goes with a Revolution primer, come on. So all that is very well. I'm very pleased with the eyeshadow itself, the, the, the formula itself. I'm very pleased with the colours. I'm very pleased with the palette itself. What I am, I'm also pleased with the price of the eyeshadows. Don't get me wrong, I love the colours. I love the pricing of the colours. I love the formula. I just don't love that for a Made in China case, Made in China, uh, Louis Vuitton's gone and put 58 quid for this piece of tat. It's tat. All right, at least then you know have a sort of personalization option then, 58 quid if you're charging, or you know, some kind of limited edition thingy. This comes in two options, red and black. I picked black, uh, don't ask me why. Uh, I d it was just one of those things. But yeah, because by that point, I was so upset at having to fork out another 58 quid. I really didn't want to do that. At the same time, you can't do anything else with this 
thing. This part I love. This part I don't. I mean, I like the studs, I like the packaging and the aesthetic. I don't love the price. I think 58 quid is too much for this tat. So yeah, that, that, that has left a bit of a mm, experience. It's sort of taken away a bit from the eyeshadow for me. So those are my thoughts on the Lugota La Palette, it is called. I, I don't think I mentioned it earlier on. La Palette. I mean, if you do have a birthday money, you know, a treat from a relation or something, by all means, go for it. So, what are your thoughts? Have you seen this? Do you not agree that the case, having to buy the case, was a bit of a letdown? Why not sell them together and call it 115 quid? Huh? If so, people will be aware of what they're getting into. What do you think about this? Do you agree with me? Um, do you also think that uh, the packaging that is made in China is completely over. It should not be costing as much as the eyeshadows that are made in Italy and are excellent quality. Do tell me all of that in the comments below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. I'm going to speak to you soon.